YouTube, this is Angie and I'm back with another video. I said I'm back with another video. It is lit. Today we have five scary videos to watch if you hate sleep. This is by Sir Spooks. I'm gonna say it again. I have a dark web mystery box on the way. That means we have a dark web mystery box video coming. Stay tuned. Let's go. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at five scary videos to watch if you hate sleep. So, let's begin. Let's go! A man named Neon B. White is filming a video for his TikTok account and wants to showcase his piano skills and is just about ready to begin playing a song. So far, so good, right? Well, not necessarily. In fact, Little does Neon know, but something creepy happens to him right off the bat. Watch this. All right, what's up, guys? Uh, Neon here. I got bored over the quarantine, and I'm trying to learn the piano. So yeah, uh, yeah. Leave some comments down in the in the comment section for any suggestions. It's definitely understandable that Neon does not notice the door handle moving all by itself. So I can't even begin to Anybody imagine the scan he got when he reviewed the footage. Also, 30 seconds later, when this happens, take a look at his face. Oh, is that an open door? Okay, so the door just opened. Um, as you can see right here, I was recording just over yeah, there. Yeah, who's there? And um, the door opened. That was interesting. Okay, um, I'm just gonna go back into my room and completely ignore that that happened. Mm. The door just closed again, but the other door. Um. I'm not gonna have any of that. I'm just gonna close the door and completely ignore that. Mm. As soon as this happens, Neon takes it upon himself to get up and investigate the matter further, but is unable to find anything of interest. That is at least not with his own eyes. It sounds like there's a kid in the house. Like, could have been the kid chilling playing with it. End. Okay, so the door just opened. Um. You can see right here, I was recording just over there. I call bullshit. When we reached out to Neon about the dark figure, he replied saying he didn't know what it was. So what do you think? Was there actually some sort of creepy ghostly presence in Neon's house that day? Or was this just a faked video in the hopes to get some views? Yeah. Let me know in the That's comments. That's not real. Not real. Leonam J.S. Manuel uploaded a video to his channel in January of 2019 in which he explores an undisclosed area that seems to be quite creepy by the looks of things shown in the video. For the first little while in the upload, Leonam is seemingly unable to find anything besides some debris. Despite this, he continues to press forward and explore just a little bit further. But maybe he should have stopped earlier. Was that him or a real coyote? What the fuck? What is that? Holy shit. Oh 
Holy shit, what is that? If this is indeed real, then it is quite surprising then that the uploader did not move when he heard this sound near him. Maybe it was just because he was frozen in shock, and in that case, that would make more sense. And as for the creature caught on video, we obviously can't be sure if it's real or fake. It could be someone in a costume, or it could be an authentic sighting of what the uploader refers to as the Lobisomem. The Lobisomem is a creature in South American mythology. In Brazil, it is believed to be a werewolf whose sights are primarily set oh, on attacking damn. women rather than men. It is said to be just a bit over two feet tall and resembles a fairy monkey. In the video, whatever this creature is can be hard to tell for sure because of the video's low resolution quality to it, as well as the fact that it was all filmed during the night. But the description of the Lobisomem seems like it could match the creature depicted in this video. Do you agree? Let me know your ideas know. in the comments. Never heard of it. As creepy as hell, I'll tell you that. Mysterio JL shared a video to his Facebook page in March, which sees him using his phone in an attempt to contact spirits from another dimension. We hear him say, there's a man and a woman, and then he says that they are stuck there. He follows up by asking, what are you keeping here? He proceeds to ask a few more questions along those lines, and as you can probably expect, he gets a bit more than he asked for. Take a look. ¿Qué es lo que estás cuidando aquí? Anda, comunícate. Te puedes manifestar, te puedes comunicar con nosotros. Something about the way Mysterio <laughs> and his friend behind the camera react to this situation sounds quite authentic yeah. to me and the terror and the voices seem real. They are able to flee from the scene before anything else can happen to them. So it's just a good thing that they got out of there when they did. Or else who knows? Maybe the spirit would have gotten even angrier and done more sinister things. A YouTuber named Eric Gunner is exploring an extremely creepy abandoned building late at night to document for his channel. During the vast majority of the investigation, he isn't able to find anything. There are some bits of debris scattered, and it's obvious that the building he is exploring has absolutely seen better days. But besides that, everything seems to be perfectly fine. Towards the end of Eric's investigation, he stops to sit down with a friend he went to the building with, and the two of them begin to strike up a conversation. However, the conversation goes from relatively normal to sheer panic in just a matter of moments. I swear I keep hearing my name. It's not my wife. My wife doesn't call me by my name. Next time I do another investigation. Take a look. Y fíjate que, a ver, espérame tanto. Fíjate si aquí estoy bien, no puedo moverme. Right there. Did you hear it? Cuando... It said Angie. Me metí yo y empezaba a subir la quimera, lo que está hasta arriba. Y empezamos a subir. Ok. Oh, my scalp. Ok. Ahora ve. No va a deber pasar. Espérense. Why did he just say that? Oh.
Gratefully, Eric and his friends are able to escape from the building before that mysterious figure can Damn. make a reappearance. But had they waited any longer, who knows if they would have made it out that night. Damn. Number one! In April of 2021, a man on YouTube named Hassan Baba says that the video you are about to watch was extremely frightening for him to film and to witness the events of in real life. So much so that he says, I seek refuge in God. But what could be so terrifying that would cause him to react in this way? Well, let's find out. While exploring a creepy looking building, Hassan spends the first few minutes looking around for anything of interest when he turns around and suddenly he sees this. Hold on, Bear. Oh, that's fake. Hold on. My dog. He proceeds to explore the area a bit further, but he doesn't get to look around for long before something else stops him dead in his tracks. I call bullshit. Fast forward to a couple of minutes later, and it is clear that Hassan is getting quite freaked out, and understandably so. At this point, Bear, I would be hush. rushing to get out of there, but Hassan decides to stay he for a bit like longer. He doesn't like it because the door's shut, and but he's on the other side. that might have been a mistake. Near him. My little Pomeranian. He tries to tell me what to do all the time. Is that supposed to be somebody now, talking back to him? that seems like that might have been enough for him to finally recognize the danger he is in, because he slowly but surely attempts to find his way out Hush. of there. But not before getting one last final scare. Take a look. Fake. I know ghosts can let you just record them like that. They're just gonna Hassan stand there. that the child he repeatedly saw that yeah. night was a jinn child. Jin, I believe to be super. All right, guys, on that note, this is the end of the video. Uh, tell me what you thought about the video down in the comment section below. And remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, hit it, hit it, hit it, and then hit that thumbs up. Let YouTube know that my videos are likable and that it should be spread. Um, again, stay tuned. I have a dark web mystery box coming that should be coming up this weekend. So keep your eyes open. If you woke up today, you already went in. Peace.